What's up everyone, it's your favorite NCAA football series on YouTube. This time we're back with episode 7 of the UCA Bears Dynasty series. Last week we lost a heartbreaker to Coastal Carolina. We just couldn't score in the second half. We were dropping passes left and right. And ultimately we fell to now second in the division. If you haven't watched that game, definitely go check it out on the channel. So I actually already did the recruiting and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I cannot undo what I did. So I will just talk about what I did when I was not recording. So we did have a sender that we were looking at commit to another school and a couple other players at other positions locked us out. So I went ahead and added two more senders to the board. I'm gonna give them max points. So hopefully we can get one of them. We also scouted Cedric Cook to see that he's still a 68 overall. So that's looking pretty solid. And we did not get any other commitments yet, but I'm hoping after this week we will get some more because we're very far ahead on, obviously you can tell these guys are over a thousand for lots of them. So the only real upset throughout the country was Purdue knocking off Nebraska. Previously they were top 10, Purdue was two and four, but upsets happen. And they actually beat them by 18, so it wasn't even that close. The top 10 changes a little bit as now Florida is second, Clemson third, Notre Dame fourth, and then Louisville, somehow jumped from 16 to 8 despite not even playing last week so i don't know how that happened so after the loss to coastal carolina last week we're now second in the division it's going to be tough to win the division we would have to win out and coastal carolina would need to lose twice since they hold the tiebreaker over us and there are no quarterbacks to be found in the heisman race it is all running backs as we have harris Etienne, pierce die and rimsburg Usually that's what happens in these games is the quarterbacks kind of get pushed out and it's all running backs because for whatever reason, the Heisman formula in the game's code just favors running back stats more than quarterbacks, I guess. And I forgot to mention last week, but two episodes ago when we played Louisiana Monroe, Justin Hurd actually won Defensive Player of the Week for the Sun Belt. He had nine tackles and two fumble recoveries in that double overtime win. And looking at the matchup, this is going to be a tough battle because as you can see, they're third in the country in total offense, top 10 in, or top 11 in both rushing and passing offense. And then they're seventh in total defense with a number one rushing defense. And we are a team that likes to run the ball, so it's going to be tough. And Corso agrees with my analysis because he's picking against us. This is the fit we're rocking this time. Pretty much the same as last week, but instead of the all blackout, we're in the purple tops. We do have three more recruits visiting this week, so we got a ball out to make sure that they want to come to our school. Now me are talking to RP, coaching him up. Coin toss, we win it most of the time. Uh, we will not win it here though. And it looks like they're going to kick to us, so we'll get the ball first. I'm not going to return that though, we're just going to call for a fair catch. As always, I like to do a little read option for the first play just to get the ball rolling. Not really much rolling going there, only a yard. Oh yeah, quick pass here, little girl route. Upshaw. Oh, look at that juke move. Oh my goodness. Upshaw might be gone on just the second play from scrimmage. He's gonna house it. What a start. An explosive play from our best player. Wow. It's good. We're up 7-0, just 33 seconds into the game. Their offense, again, is very explosive. They have a good mobile quarterback. Their running back can house it from anywhere. Well, he's going to get a first down here. Won't house it, at least. And he is still on his feet somehow. What just happened? Okay, so we held him on the run for no gain on those two plays. Now we got to play some pass defense. You look at the slant. Oh, he's going deep. Knocked away, almost picked off by Brady, but we'll get the ball back after they punt. Upshaw is going to return it. Let's see if he can work some magic like that play before. Okay, he's going to weave through defenders. He has a lane. Can he do it again? Oh my goodness. Upshaw is insane. Touchdown, Bears. Whoa. Give him the Heisman right now. Just to prove that I didn't change the difficulty or anything, we're still on Heisman because it probably looked like I was playing on freshman there, but we just, we're just off to a great start. What can I say? Gonna pass it again. Oh, he's gonna try to run and we're there for the sack, Markeith Gaines. We're just firing on all cylinders today. Looking for the quick throw and he has it. 
Oh, and he breaks a tackle and picks up the first. That's on me. I missed my tackle there. Uh, it's going to be a screen. Can we get there in time? Oh, he's not going to throw the screen. Cooper can't bring him down, but Gaines does for his second sack of the quarter, and they're going to have to punt again. What is with this defense all of a sudden showing up? You know, if they're going to play off Upshaw, I'm just going to throw it to him again. And he's got it. First down. 14 yards. Going to do play action again. No one really open. We're going to flip it. And Williams is open. And he almost... No, he does have the first down. Good play. Screened up Shaw. Oh, look at this. Another first down. He is instant offense. Just put the ball in his hands. Look at that. Already over 100 yards receiving. All right. Triple option. One of my favorite play variations. And Hayes is going to keep it. Oh, look at this. First down for Hayes. Knocked out of the 15. I mean, we're seriously just moving the ball at will here. It's like defense from last week compared to this week. It's way easier for us to manipulate. We're going to run. Oh, we fumbled. Well, Bruh. the second I talk about how it's starting to get easy, we fumble. That's probably my fault for jinxing it. Dang it. I knew it was too good to be true. I just had to say something, didn't I? And as soon as I say that, now they're going to get a first down with the run game. He's looking, and he's going to be wrapped up. No, he can't. And then we finally bring him down. I think that was Love with the sack. Yes, it was. Three sacks already for our defense. I would bet a lot of money that they're going to run the ball here. I'm going to try to pinch the D-line a little. They do... And I think we got him. No, he got the first. So close. And another run, another first down. That's going to happen all game long. Put a couple more guys in the box this time, see if that helps. Uh, of course, now they pass it, and he's wide open. First down again. First and ten again. Lewis keeps it again on the read option. And another first down. That's just... 10 to 15 yards every play is what they're doing to us. Second and six. This will end the quarter, and they're going to throw it to the tight end to end the quarter. First and goal. So a great start to the game. We're up 14 nothing after a pair of upshot touchdowns, but we have a lot of work to do still. All right, so first and goal. Let's see if we can get in. Or stop them, rather. <laughs> I got confused for a second. Maybe that's why they scored. Touchdown, Louisiana Lafayette. We're still up by seven, though. All right, we're going to do a little jet sweep. Fake that. We're going to run it with Hayes, and he's got the first down. And off to Matthews. He throws it, and Hayes has it. Okay. Not quite a big play, but still 10 yards. Always fun when you get a little straight play going. Play fake. Lobbing it up to Dixon. Oh, that's not going to be caught. If that was on target, it might have actually been intercepted, so. East is going to come in motion. We throw it to Upshaw, and he catches it despite getting hit. Second and three. Can the run game get going here? Let's give it to Phipps. The run game does get going enough for the first down, at least. Five yards. We're going to do a triple option again. This time, Jones going to be back there. Uh, look at this run. Hayes just going to keep it himself for the touchdown. <clears throat> sorry for that voice crack. I'm very sorry. <laughs> but UCA is up by double digits once again. Thanks to Hayes. I really wish that I could edit out that voice crack, but I know I won't be able to. Oh, no. Mitchell has it again. Another first down. Keeps it, and we wrap him up instantly. I don't know why he didn't try to pitch it, but I'm not going to complain. Third and 14. We've held them to a punt on two of their drives. They scored last time. Can we get another punt here? He's looking deep, and it's going to be knocked away again by Brady. Another drop interception, but again, I can't really complain because we'll get the ball back. I'm going to look. 
Oh, I should have got rid of that earlier. Maybe downfield? Jones makes a catch. Wow, he got a foot in somehow. Gonna keep it. And who else other than Hayes been our best player? Arguably best player on offense, other than Upshaw, obviously. Since it's very sure we actually are going to run the ball here. And we can't even get that. Wow. They are shutting down Matthews. One yard on five carries. Upshaw again. First down, Bears. Over the middle. Oh, that was a dangerous pass. I thought East was going to break sooner. Thankfully, the defender was not turned around to make the pick. All right, if we fail here, we're probably just going to go for it again because it's already pretty close. We're not going to fail, though, because Jones has it for the first. Oh, I think we might have had Hikins, but I'm just going to run with it and pick up another first down. Looking over the middle, we have Dixon. Oh, no. Almost intercepted. Five of five on third down. Can we keep the streak alive? Upshaw, open again. Another first down. All right, let's see if the screen get open here. Screen to East. East has a block, and East has a touchdown. What a dominant first half for this offense. And Rustin Poor is very pleased with his team's performance so far. Up 28-7 to at the half. He's going to run it again, and Mitchell has the edge. Mitchell's got the first down and more. Can we stop him? Yes, but not until he gets across midfield. And that puts him over 100 rushing yards on the game. Two of six on third down. That's been the key so far. We've held him to lots of failed third down conversions. And we do it again. It's Parker Wimberly with the stop for the four. So the run game has not been that good in terms of our running backs. Hayes has had success, though. So we're going to run an option, see if he can get it. No. And again, Matthews has stopped. That might put him in the negative. 16 of 20, 231 yards and two touchdowns. By far the best game that Hayes has had in terms of efficiency. Can he find someone here? Oh, and he's sacked. Loss of six, and that'll make us punt for, I believe, the first time today. Can Crafton launch another boom of a punt? Oh, he made it go all the way to the 30. And then, oh my god! He just got clapped to another dimension. Alright, defense needs to keep it up on this drive. Mitchell, though, is open for the first down. Gain of 14. Alright, let's see if they run it here. He's going to keep it. Oh, and he breaks his tackle, has a first. And he's stiff arming our defense tackle all the way to the 21. That was a nice run. First and 10. Play fake. And over the middle is caught by LeBlanc. And it's first and goal. Alright, let's hold him to a field goal because I've already marched down the field on us. Lewis is wrapped up by Gaines, who's just having the game of his life right now. We've got five tackles for loss, two of them are sacks. Third and goal from the five. Anything but a touchdown. He's looking. Oh, it's intercepted by Wallace. Can Wallace take it all the way back? Not sure. No, but he's tackled at 25. Six or seven on third down. The only time we failed was obviously last time in this quarter. Look in. Oh, we might have Matthews. Nice throw and nice route. 18 yards for the first. And while we have not been able to run the ball with Matthews, at least he's getting involved in the receiving game. Four catches for 37 yards. Big conversion there. But this is his best run yet. Okay. Maybe he is starting to get involved in the running game. Second seven. And we have Dixon for his first catch of the game, I believe. And a first down yet again. Oh, I did not mean to pitch it. Oh, that was... Bruh. I literally... Ex I lightly tapped it. And in the last second, I was like, oh, I don't need to because he's getting tackled. And it's still registered. Dang, that's just like last week. All right, so into the third quarter. We're still up 28-7. to seven. Looking pretty good as long as nothing crazy happens. It's a screen and I misread it. Oh, my goodness. But that was such a bad throw. We had to come back to get it. 
and he loses eight yards on the play. Wow. I mean, if he threw it ahead of him, he would have been able to run for the first. So they go from possibly fourth and one or even a first down, and now it's fourth and nine. They have to go for it. Down by three touchdowns with seven minutes left. And over the middle, it is caught for the first down. They convert. It's Williams all the way to the 37. We're going to put a spy on him in case he tries to take off again. Because Lewis has been tearing us up with his legs. Looking deep. Oh, that was a great throw. Great catch to Polly with 20 yards. We got over six minutes left. Still plenty of time for them to make a comeback. So we got to be careful. And Mitchell gets a couple yards on the run there. Can I throw it? Oh my gosh. That might have been the worst pass I've ever seen in my life. So, fourth and goal. I mean, I'm expecting a run, but you never know. They do run it. Mitchell breaks a tackle and he's in for the touchdown. That's not how we want it into the drive. Well then. Alright, first and ten. We'll try to run it. Nowhere to run. But we are going to run that clock down as low as we can. So we're looking. No one is open. Lobbing it up to Dixon. Oh, and he makes the catch to convert. That might have been the dagger. Great adjustment by the tight end to come back for it. We'll run it with Matthews here. It's a decent little chunk of yards. Matthews got it. Screen to Matthews. If he gets a first down, it's over. Not quite. Then they use their second timeout. You know, because we're up by 14, we're going to run this play. Because the worst that could happen is, you know, we lose yards. We're just going to throw it. Oh, and he actually almost completed it, but it's fourth down. I mean, it does stop the clock, so it's probably dumb of me, but we're by 14, so... And we're just going to go for it here to ice the game, because we can't kick a field goal from this far. Quick out of Phipps. He's got it. That should do it. And we actually do have to run one more play, so we'll just take a knee and end it. A great team win. Didn't do much in the second half, but we didn't have to. Upshaw was the star. Hayes played well. Defense played well. Just a great win overall. But all that damage came in the first half. Upshaw obviously in the first two minutes scoring two touchdowns. Hayes and East both scoring in the second quarter. And then we just went on cruise control mode after that. Did what we had to do and wrapped up the win. I mean, Hayes definitely had his best game of the year. 21 of 27, 309 yards, two touchdowns. And that key stat right there, no interceptions. Matthews didn't really do much, but towards the end, he got a few runs to make his stats look better. Just 34 yards, 13 carries. Upshaw was the star in terms of receiving seven catches, 164 yards, and a touchdown. He also had a punt return touchdown. Wimberly leading the team in tackles with eight. Gaines had five tackles for loss and two sacks. And Wallace got an interception, his first of his career, his freshman. And then Brady had two pass breakups. Well, that was a fun episode. We got the win in dominant fashion for the most part, picking up our third conference win in four tries. We just need one more win to reach our goal of five for this season. Looks like the athletic department's happy with us, so everything's going well. In the next episode, we're going to take on the undefeated Mountaineers of Appalachian State, so that should be a fun one, and it's going to be on the road. Well, that does it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment who you think is the team MVP so far. There's a couple of pretty good options, but I want to know what you guys think. With that being said, I'll catch you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and be on the lookout for another video.